friends and relatives come together to celebrate the, the lives of two little children. And there's other little children here, too. And I suspect all of us in a sense are little children. <laughs> As we begin, let me let's just read this. Let's just have a word of prayer, shall we? Gracious Father, we thank you for this opportunity to come together. Some of us are grandmas, and some of us are grandpas, some are great grandmas, great grandpas. <coughs> some of us are aunts or uncles or we're cousins. Lord God, we're just so we're so many of us here and friends and neighbors, it's just hard to imagine. God, we ask that each one of us would take that responsibility to see these two young, this young man and this young lady and this, this boy, this girl would learn to grow up and be happy and, and to serve you and to be, follow you, Lord, and everywhere they do. But it is true, that it is true, it's really true, that, Father, that it takes a family, it takes a community to raise a child. So help each of us. Father, we're all just humans, and Father, we need your help to help us do that. And then we ask your blessing upon Ephraim and Katie, that they, as they grow and as they learn, Father, we pray that their lives would turn out to be wonderful lives, that they would do great things for you, God. There's things in the world that need to be solved, and we pray that these two children would learn to do that. And we just give you all the praise, all the honor, and all the glory in Jesus' name. In the Bible, it tells us, Jesus tells us, that is, and reading out a, a portion of the Gospel of Mark, 10th chapter, a very important, one of the most important verses I think all of Scripture has for us. It says this, people were bringing little children to Jesus to have him touch them, but the disciples rebuked them. When Jesus saw this, he was indignant. And he said to them, Let the little children come to me, and do not hinder them, for the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. I tell you the truth, anyone who will not receive the kingdom of God like a little child will never enter into it. And he took the children in his arms, and he put his hands on them and blessed them. started this in the Old Testament by blessing her child and dedicating her child to God. And then in the New Testament, this beautiful passage that talks about um, bringing children to Christ. And so really that's what we're doing today is we're just dedicating. And as I got to thinking about this, it's, it's really not the children that are being dedicated. It's really the commitment that the parents are making. And everybody in this room is making this commitment that we will help guide these two children to be followers of Jesus Christ. And how we do that, not by our language more than anything, is by our modeling. So um, I think this is truly a dedication for each of us here today. And we have water from the Jordan, actually from the Jordan River. Katie Ray Brault. I dedicate you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Let's pray. Jesus, thank you so much for Katie. Thank you for her energetic, lively spirit. God, I thank you for all of the dreams and all of the, the beauty you've wrapped up in this little girl's life. I just pray, Father, that she will know you and just continue to fall in love with you and find all the all the vision that you have for her life. Help each of us in this room, especially Christy and Adam, as they guide this little girl to knowing you by their example of loving you. In your name we pray. Amen. <laughs> Christopher Brault, I dedicate you in the name of the Father, and in the Son, and in the Holy Spirit. Jesus, thank you for Ephraim. Thank you, God, that you have jobs for this young man to do that no one else will be able to do. I pray, Father, that again, that you 
guide each of us, and especially Adam and Christy, as they help him find out who he is and be able to find all of the plans that you've made for him and things that only he can do. Bless him, protect him, protect this family, Jesus, and help him to grow stronger and stronger to be a man after your heart. In your name we pray. Amen. Mm -hmm. And thank you for his middle name. <laughs> especially to this family. And we dedicate our hearts together as family and grandmas and grandpas and great-grandma and grandpas and each friend to be able to strive to show these two children how much they love, that you love them by the fact that we love you. So help us in this effort. And just thank you for the joy that each of us get to share as we watch these two be raised. In your name we pray. 